Welcome to day 193 of the Let's Grow Annual Challenge. Sharon Horn Elstrom here, hiding behind my graphics so I can have a sip of coffee. Today we are talking about expenses. Yesterday we talked about income and different income sources. Today we're going to talk about expenses, financial growth. We're focusing on this month. And one of the biggest topics and biggest impactors on our actual bottom line as a person, this was a business idiom that I used for supersize your business, but it also applies to us as individuals and as humans. We ought to know what our income is and what our expenses are and what we have for discretionary income that we can invest, we can use for experiences or toys or whatever it is that we want in life. But the thing about expenses is it's all about the choices that we make. We can choose to have a $25,000 watch or a $200 watch. We can choose to have top of the line internet or bottom of the line internet. We can choose utilities we pretty much have to pay for. We gotta have a place to live, but we can have a multi-million dollar home or we can have an apartment. We can have a town home or anything in between. Uh, but it's up to us to choose and decide based on how we wanna live. Now I think we can have whatever we want, but we have to decide and choose what we want. So our action today is going to be really simple. Llewellyn's story is in guide two of the Let's Grow Annual Challenge private Facebook group page, as well as a write-up on expenses and how they impact our financial growth. Of course, the less we spend, the more we have to use for other things, right? The less we have on all the time expenses. But I think each and every one of us, and our exercise today is going to be to do this if you haven't done it, is to list out all of your expenses on a monthly basis, right? I'm going to say a month because we need a snapshot of more than just a day or a week. Uh, one of the exercises I do when I'm working with somebody that wants to work on their financial growth is I have them actually walk around with a little notebook and everything they spend, they write down for an entire week because usually a week will show us their spending patterns and spending habits. You know, if you want to save money, there's a lot of little things that you can do and by looking at and tracking what you're actually doing, again, sounds like the silk framework. I want to spend less. Well, what are you actually doing? What do you want? What do you want to spend, et cetera? We can use the silk framework for everything. But today we're just going to list out all of our expenses on a monthly basis. So cell phone, almost everybody has a cell phone. Almost everybody has trash removal, water, sewer. Uh, some people have yard expenses or maid service or... Uh, house payments and because that's an expense, right? We like to think it's an asset, but guess what? Unless we're finding a way to generate income from our house, it is an expense. Our home, rent, mortgage, taxes, utilities of all sorts, right? And I listed a couple of those. Uh, food, we, we eat every month, right? Well, how much do you spend eating out? How much do you spend on groceries? How much do you spend on delivery of those or going, etc.? cetera? Uh, everything you can think of. I want you to list out because sometimes it's surprisingly less than we think and other times it's surprisingly more than we think it that it actually is. We wonder where our money always goes. So that's our action item for today. You can see how Llewellyn does it. I don't know if she listed them all out. I think she did, but by different category. Uh, <clears throat> but we want to do that so that we have a snapshot of what our expenses are. Because the first thing we're going to ever do is make sure that we set in place a consistent flow of money and resources to cover our basic needs and expenses, right? So we don't have to ever stress out or worry about, you know, our housing or our food or our auto expenses. You notice I forgot to say cars because I do not have a car anymore. Uh, once you become visually blind, they don't let you, or literally, legally blind, visually blind, legally blind, they don't let you drive anymore. Uh, funny how that works. Anyway, if I can help in any way, if you need help with, uh, certain things, if you're wondering if they're an expense or not, just ask. Ask in the comments below so we can all learn from one another. Uh, that's it. So do the exercise. If you're willing to, share in the comments below what is your biggest expense. Uh, for most of us, it is housing. Uh, that is currently mine, but uh, share in the comments below. All right. Have an awesome day, and I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.